The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. I'm going to start out the show much like we did yesterday. We were talking about natural gas. I had uh, my one fan out there said, please go through what happened to natural gas yesterday. So we're certainly going to do that. You can see from this chart right here, we have this ABCD pattern that completed at 969. The high was 970. That's when we were on the air. Now, remember, if you remember back in here, this three-day break here, folks, was $22,000, and yesterday we broke down $15,000 from the high. So let's just see, you know, what happened because we might be able to receive the repeat performance again today. Here is, uh, let's get this up here so where we could see it, I guess. Shut the front door, and here it is, right here. Okay, here's what we were talking about as we went on the air at 9:10 yesterday. Hold on one second. Get this up here, and uh, wish there was a way to do these things live, but that ain't going to happen. Okay, now here's where we were, right there. We were trading there at 9, uh, 962, 963 as we were making that high uh, at that point. Well, that turned out uh, to be uh, the high of the day, and we'll get. The, I'm going to go through a sequence just to just to build a case for what we're looking at here today, folks, because. We're getting down to some real serious support here in the S&P that we have to talk about here in just a moment. Bring us up here and take a look at it. Now, here was the natural gas, and you'll see we had this uh, monster break. Uh, it was over $10,000. Uh, I posted, you know, if you, if you shorted it there, you know, to uh, cover it there at that point. Now, just to show you how tired I was, folks, I'm sitting here looking at this actual high ABCD, and I'm too tired to even roll my little uh, <laughs> chair over here to the other computer and put the order in. I really didn't care whether I did it or not. I was frustrated because I missed the sale in the cap gold at 1863, and so and and I. It doesn't make any difference. Anyway, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. That's the basic thing. But the important thing, if you learn something from all of these trades, that's the main thing. So let's take a look here of what we're doing here. Let's get this up here. This is the, what happened. This is an eight-minute chart. Just to show you the things that we ha that we talk about, they repeat over and over again. And if you wait for them, they're going to give you a pretty good chance. Now, look at this. We had this huge break down in here. And look, we rallied exactly to the 382. And then we broke down even more. Now, now we're going to see what's going to happen today. So all we're going to do now is we're going to see what the prediction is. And the prediction is a little different this time because the prediction says we're going to top in about uh, half an hour or so. So let's just move that over here to see where we are. And there's what we're looking at, what the prediction is going to be. It's around 1130. It's supposed to change direction. Is it going to change direction? I don't know, but you know, nobody else does either. The one thing we do know, boys and girls, is we know how to calculate 382 retracements. So if you look at that chart that I just posted, and you go back to look at the one that I posted previously, it's going to tell you that the 382 retracement on this natural gas contract comes in at 864. So if at 1130 it's trading at 864, that's telling you that time and price are together and then you'll be able to look at it. By the way, tomorrow, today's the last day to sign up for Tom O'Brien's full day stock trading uh, seminar. Uh, I, if you trade stocks or futures, you definitely ought to pay attention to uh, Tom because he knows that stock market like the back of his hand. So anyway, let's uh, keep that in mind as we go through some of these other charts. But the, the main reason for that natural gas setup was the starting off with that uh, half hour uh, three drive to a top pattern. Uh, timing was correct you know you can do these timing things yourself folks if you just practice a little bit and study what the market's doing it repeats itself over and over again and all you're trying to do is to find uh, that repetition now i wanted to bring 
uh, a couple of patterns up to show you because the first one we're going to share with you is from our friend Jeff over in uh, Philadelphia. We'll get this up in here. And oh, skid up. it happens to be crude oil. And I believe, folks, we're getting uh, – things uh, Things are acting a little different now in the crude oil market. I mean, it's extremely bullish by listening to the news. But if you'll notice here, this is Jeff's chart here with the one – three five pattern and as you can see here just a little while ago it made the first a b c d objective at that point see if he's selling here at 0.5 you don't have to risk very much at all folks right okay so now you've made your first profit objective so you're pretty much home free now look at this pattern look at this one three five pattern because if you see it in crude oil you're going to see it in other things too so what we're going to do now is take a look what we want to watch <clears throat> and this was hold on <clears throat> hold on one second folks the little frog is back hold on get this back up here and here is the same pattern in the dow jones industrial leverage there's your 135 pattern and as you know we're already breaking down uh, quite a bit uh, I'll, I'll go into the uh, stock uh, with the s p here in just a minute but i wanted to cover uh, one other thing before we move on to that, because I think we're going to be looking at, oh, the gold. I wanted to cover the gold because here's where we were yesterday <clears throat> Yesterday in the gold. We had an order <clears throat> to sell the gold at 18.63. The high right here was 18.62.30, so I missed it. Then later in the afternoon, right when the markets was, were closing, we got back here to 18.58 which was a perfect Gartley. That's an ABCD coming in, you know, just right at the 50% level. I didn't have to risk anything above the 61% retracement. And, of course, you completed your your buy, your uh, pattern completion down here at 844 uh, on that one uh, this morning. So uh, that's what we were watching yesterday when we were watching the uh, some of these things as we were seeing them unfold. Okay, now I wanted to bring to your attention the one also – Oh, dear. These charts are jumping around with me. This is the one that's going to mean a lot today, folks. So let's get it up here to take a look. I'll start with the stocks now because I think I got a handle on this. And, boy, that's the scariest situation of all is when you think you know what's going on. And uh, that can be very, very dangerous. But you can see here the other day we made the 382 retracement. We went up and we matched the 61% retracement. And now we're coming down to test. If we break this low... That's going to be uh, pretty important, and I'll show you why uh, when we get back to from the uh, break, because it's going to take me a little bit longer to walk through this sequence. If you remember the sequence of events that we had from May the 5th through the 22nd, I'll, I'll bring that chart up and show you what that meant and comparing it to what happened in 1987. Well, we're running in the same type of uh, a situation, folks. These things are bouncing off these numbers uh, and it can't be doing it by accident because it's doing it spot on. So we'll take a look at that when we come back from our break just to see where we might be as we come in here to the really key day, which is, as Tim Boss po pointed out yesterday, June 13th. And that's when we have a Venus conjunction opposition. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve and a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. 
Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors call, call, call now toll free at 1-877-927-6648 internationally at 727-873-7618 Okay, we're back, folks. I've posted the chart of the S&P here over the last few days to show you what's been happening. And as you can see, by looking at this pattern, it is just like the Jeff one that Jeff posted on crude oil. It's uh, uh, we have a caller on line two. Yes, sir. What can I help you with? Hey, Larry. I was wondering if you had an opinion on VYM. Um, v the reason being, I'm looking for places that it might hide out in. It's a pretty okay, good dividend. V it's a high dividend payer. Uh, what can you tell yeah. me? What V Y M? Uh, Victor Yellow Mark. V Y M. Okay, just give me one second and see. I have to put this into my uh, my database, which shouldn't take very long. And where are you calling from? And what is your name? Uh, Keith Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Oh, Cedar Rapids. Oh, my gosh. We had a very dear friend from Cedar Rapids. Okay, I see VYM. Yep. Okay, here it is. It's uh, it's had a pretty good rally off of the 20th. In fact, it, it's rallied quite a bit. Now, is this related to uh, what, what is it? What is VYM? I don't know what, uh, it's what, a Vanguard, what it is. It's a Vanguard high yield um, dividend fund. Okay. All right. And I've got it. I've got it right here. So just give me one second. And I have to. Uh, First of all, I got to send it to myself, and we'll be uh, my neighbor who I bought this house from was from Cedar Rapids, Iowa. So we know quite a bit about mm -hmm. Cedar Rapids. We we went through it quite a bit. Okay, now I should have it in just one second, and then we'll be ready to go here. Uh, there we go. By golly, look at this! I did something right today. Holy moly, guacamole! Okay, Keith, we're going to take a look at it right here. This actually looks pretty good, actually, because if you notice here, we had this beautiful ABCD bottom here. Uh, on the 20th, just like everything else, we had a huge rally, and there should be a lot of support here, just a little bit lower here at this 382 level. So this, there's nothing wrong with this stock. It, it, it looks like it wants to go higher. Well, that's what I thought, but I wanted to check my work against yours. So, yeah, um, very good. I okay. appreciate well. it very much. Well, and if it doesn't go up, it'll be your fault, not mine. No, <laughs> no, but it does has it has good probability of going higher here. Good. Thanks, okay. Larry. You bet. All right. Thank you for calling Thanks. in. I appreciate it. And by golly, boys and girls, 
I hear the old beepers going off, and we're going to be looking at, and here we are with the natural gas trading at, uh, there's the number, folks, 864. So oh, I don't know if it's going to work or not, but by golly, this is the same thing that happened yesterday, and, and it's sitting right at the 382 there at 864. And that's why the thing was uh, beeping a little bit here. Now, let's move on to uh, something else here. This is what I wanted to talk to you, getting back to that S&P, because there, here's the real, the real test of the S&P, folks, is going to be coming up here probably either today or tomorrow. But my best guess is it's probably going to be Monday, and I'll tell you why in just a second. Okay, here is the, the bottom there at the March 20th. We had the huge run-up, as you can see, and we've been going sideways for seven days, folks, and you're looking at the 382 retracement there at uh, 4060. If we can stay above 4060 coming into uh, today, tomorrow, and, and preferably Monday, that's what I would be watching for a potential buy. That would be a very, very bullish sign in the stock market, and you know how bearish I am. That would be a very bullish sign for the stock market to not get below uh, 4060 in the E-mini S&P uh, at that time. And the reason why that time is important was brought to us yesterday by our friend Tim Bost, Financial Cycles Weekly. He was talking about the, the Venus-Uranus aspects, and I'm going to go back in history just a little bit to show you where we are with that. Here's where we were. If you'll remember back on, uh, well, we, we started this back on January the 4th. This was equivalent to the high in 1987 and then we had the big uh, retracement here at 618 on may the 5th that was equivalent to october 2nd 17 days down took you into the 22nd of may we bottomed on the 20th and now we've been going sideways pretty much ever since but what's important here if you notice that may 5th day that was a venus conjunction uh, opposition uh, back in 1987, and we have Venus conjunction opposition coming in on the 13th of June, which is going to be Monday. Now, why is this date so important? One of the reasons why I got into this astrology stuff was because, you know, I was scared of it because you know, I was a good old Catholic boy. That was the instrument of the devil. So by golly, uh, what, what I, I said, I better be really careful with this. So what I decided to do was to let the numbers speak for themselves. And so Dr. Miller showed me that when we had these uh, sequence of events uh, called Venus-Uranus aspects, in other words, it's 360 degrees, you start out with zero, which is Venus conjunction, then you go all the way around to 180 and it's Venus opposition, and then you take the two squares, the one at 90 and the one at 120, and that gives you 360 degrees. So we decided to, if we were going to, this was going to make any sense, you know, in the stock market, if we could go back and look at the days when we hit those four aspects over a period of 100 years, we had all the data, that we needed. We had uh, uh, the Astro Computing folks, Neil Michelson down in uh, uh, San Diego, put the dates there and he matched the dates, you know, with the dates that this actually happened. And folks, about 86% of the time, it was within one day of a very significant turn in the stock market. And it's, it's worked for a long time. This is one of the reasons, you know, I've been a friend of uh, Frank Tauscher, the Super Traders Almanac for many years. But when he saw that, along with the Pesavento Index, which Dr. Millard wanted me to name it that, but basically the Pesavento Index is you take a bell-shaped curve, and when you go out to the tails, if you have three or less aspects on any one day, it's a very high degree of turning, or 12 or more. The problem with this was 12 years ago, these astrological types, nothing like trading types, of course, they said, look, we're not going to put uh, enough, we don't have enough information in these almanacs, so we're going to just, in the ephemeris, we're just going to start, you know, putting in uh, asteroids and uh, other stuff that I don't know deadly squat about, and that just ruined the whole thing. And uh, so I can't use the P-index anymore because of the way they did it. Uh, there's probably a way to figure out, folks, I'm basically an ABCD guy, and that's really what I'm, that's really what I'm trying to do. I don't do anything more than a b c d that's uh that gets me to the promised land and that's where i want to be so let's get back to where we were and where we're coming into on june the 13th this is really important folks because if we if we hit that number and we start to rally 
there's going to be one heck of a rally. My guess is there's only one thing that would re- – well, there's two things. One thing that would really, really make the stock market rally is if uh, they stop this stuff that's going on over in uh, Ukraine and Russia. If they stop that, that would really, really give the market a boost. Not just because it might be bullish, just because of psychological implications of it. The second thing would be is something would happen with the oil market that would make the people believe that, oh, maybe this thing is finally over in oil and it's not going to get much above $5 a gallon. And we're starting to see things like that already when we look at these charts. Uh, and the, uh, hold on, we'll be right back, folks. 877-927-6648. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. Tom O'Brien has just announced a live Timing the Trade webinar Friday, June 10th from 9 a.m. until 2 p.m. Eastern Time. Join Tom O'Brien for five hours of live education as he teaches you his trading methodology right from his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System. In this live webinar, Tom O'Brien will be teaching you his entire trading system, including quality volume, ABC structures, Fibonacci confluence zones, cause and effect, swing points, and more. We will be limiting this class to 40 attendees, so please do not delay and reserve your seat today for this special live event with Tom O'Brien. All attendees will also receive a physical copy of his book, The Art of Timing the Trade, an $88 value, mailed to you, along with the free month of his daily newsletter, Market Insights, a $169 value. For all the details and to reserve your seat today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, I'm going to review here this uh, natural gas uh, situation that we're looking at right here. Believe me, folks, I didn't put it on yesterday, and I ain't putting it on today. I'm just giving it to you for prosthetic or whatever you prosthemus or whatever you want to call it <laughs> anyway we're due to top here uh, in the next 10 minutes here the 382 retracement on this is 865 uh, if it gets above 870 it's wrong you know yesterday it was right today it might be wrong but even then you're not going to miss very much but keep an eye on it just for fun as we go through this last half hour we'll check it out as we're doing because if we're making new highs in about 10 minutes after this thing is supposed to be made it most probably is going to fail but that 382 tells you where the number is 
that you want to be uh, watching. So let, let's get back to talk about the, uh, the S&P and the fact that it must hold. Well, I say must. That's my assumption. But stop and think, folks. We had this monster, monster move off the bottom on March 20th. If you recall, I said in the newsletter and just about any time anybody would listen to me, I had not seen this many major ABCD patterns hit in stocks and indices in a very, very long time. I can't even I can't even go back far enough to remember because we didn't even have that back in 2009. We had a beautiful three drive to a bottom pattern, but we didn't have all the ABCDs that we had here coming from higher bottoms, which was uh, in itself pretty important. So that's why uh, these numbers are so important. The other thing that I know with 100% degree of certainty once we do go below the May lows, and I think we will someday, maybe sooner, maybe later, but once we go below those lows, which is 3,800 in the uh, E-mini uh, S&P 500, uh, that's going to tell us that uh, we're going to go down, you know, big time. There's not any. I mean, there's a, there's pessimism in the market, folks, but there's not any there's not any fear in the market, and you need to get fear in there to get the market to break, and that's why I think we're going to get a good rally here before uh, you know we go lower eventually now that those are my that's where but remember I'm a short-term trading folks when I see a one three five pattern like we saw in the s p uh, over the last couple of days you have to take your shots at those because you know you don't get those set up so beautifully when you're up there at 81 uh, 60 excuse me 4160 and 4140 I mean those were lined up just about as clear as you could possibly get as far as picking a spot to uh, to go in and uh, you know take a short position on and to see if it's going uh, to work or not, so that's pretty much it. I want to take a, a little bit more to talk about Frank Tarsher, the Super Traders Almanac. Uh, he he had came to visit me in Pismo Beach a couple of times, and one of those times, uh, Jack Schweigert uh, from the Super uh, Super uh, Traders uh, dudes. Uh, for, what, what do you call that? <laughs> Mega traders, I forget what that thing was. Anyway, he wanted uh, Frank to be there as uh, one of the best traders. And Frank says, nah, I said, nah, I don't want to have anything to do with that. He said, but thank you for the opportunity. But Frank, to me, was the best personal trader that I knew personally. I didn't know Amos Hostetter. I only met Amos twice. I met him in 72 and 74. But I never spent more than an hour at lunch. Uh, with him and that was I did very little but Frank I did I talked to Frank all the time Frank was a, he was a phenomenal trader years ago we used to have these trading contests and I used to enter them and I did okay I'd be in the top five six ten maybe once in a while I get second but Frank was so good that and, and everybody was trading with funny money the paper money except Frank he put his own money up and he would make more and I'm, I mean this sincerely folks he would make more in his own account trading live than all of the other people in the contest trading with with funny money. That's that's how good he really was. He was he was 59 years old. He was in his son, with his son crossing the street in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and he was talking to his son. And all of a sudden, he stopped talking to his son. His son turned over, and he had had an aortic aneurysm. His in other words, the big vein in his in his uh, abdomen bleeding for all the heart muscles come in for the blood and stuff, burst, and that's instantaneous. He, he didn't even get to finish the sentence. That's how quickly he died. He was only 59 years old. One of the nicest Christian men I have ever met in my life, and he was incredibly philanthropic, folks. He gave a, gave a lot away, but he had a lot of great stuff that he worked on, but he had an intuitive feel for the markets like no one had ever seen before, And uh, but he was uh, by far... One of the best that I ever met. Okay, now let's just take a review here as I want to see what's happening with this uh, chart here with this thing. Well, the time is just about up. We're trading at 867. If we get above, uh, the number actually on the upside is 872. If we get above 872, I would consider this a failure because the 382 comes in at 865. And believe me, this is a heck of a run here, folks. You know, that's a $6,000 move, folks, in two and a half hours. So that <laughs> that's equivalent to 120 handles in the S&P. If we saw something like that, we'd say, holy moly, guacamole. So let's uh, watch ourselves. I want to go back here. Uh, one other thing to uh, cover, and that is this, this crude oil, because I, I think we're coming in. 
to a potential type top, folks. And let me let me show you why. It's uh, I've been been uh, preaching this for quite a while here, so we can get this up and take a look at it. So bear with me here. Oh dear, I've got to send it to myself, and then I will send it out to you. I I know that I, I'm just an ABCD person, so just bear with me here one second. Here we go. We'll get this up here. Have to take a little drink of water. Sorry. Okay. <clears throat> all right. All right. Now we'll get this up into the screen here, and you'll see all these ABCDs that I'm looking at here. <clears throat> uh, you see the red line where it says four hours. Okay. That's the 786 number where it says crude oil four hours. So if you go over there, that number we were looking at at 123. Okay. That was the chart that uh, Keith had, Keith, Jeff had posted yesterday on the 135 on the 15 minute. Well, that market is broken down now, so it's it's held below that level at 123. We're now at 121 and change. If we don't get any higher than that <clears throat> today or tomorrow, that tells us there's a high probability that this market could be in this green in this uh, energy stuff could be ready to top. And if you looked at the natural natural gas we've already seen but if you also look at the gasoline contract which has been the big daddy rabbit that's been leading all the way well it's not leading anymore folks we just had a great gartley failure on that last night and the same thing with the heating oil heating oil is still not in god above the 78 percent level and it's been there for four days so those are signs from a technical basis nothing fundamental or you can write in the twitter or anything like that but these are patterns that say hey wait a minute take a look at me maybe this is going to be something that is going to be you know really interesting to watch here so let's remind ourselves of that okay all righty now let's move on here and see where we are here with a couple other things that we've got here and here we're trading uh, this is the time right now so we're trading right at the 382 at 865 so and I'm not doing this one either, folks. I didn't do the one yesterday. I'm not doing I am not trading until I get back and I've rested because I uh, I have uh, stretched the old envelope a little too much. Oh, 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 on a medical note, time out. When we get back, stay with me because I have a sleep update for you, folks. Anybody that's having trouble to sleep, I have to give a plug for this stuff that I had taken now for two days, two capsules. It's all uh, dietary supplement stuff. There's no pharmaceuticals in here that you have to have a prescription for but uh i don't know but boy it flat out makes me sleep and boy that's an amazing thing we'll be right back 877-927-6648 Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks, and I've uh, posted the chart of the heating oil. As you can see, uh, this was as of uh, Sunday, and it's been here every day this week. We've not gone above the 78% level. Uh, that, that means there's a lot of resistance there, I would think. So looking at all these ABCDs in the crude, the fact that gasoline is not leading like it used to be, it's still strong but not leading. And so that's what we're watching. Getting back to the sleep, folks, I've... People always give me ideas of what to sleep. Well, someone told me to try this, and so it's a thing called Phenotrex, F-E-N-O-T-R-E-X. It's all natural stuff. There's nothing crazy in it about it. This has valerian root, valerian extract, lemon balm, chamomile flower, passion flower. I ask them to, I ask them to double up on my dosage there, and tryptophan, and those are the things that are in it. I take two a day. Uh, it's a total of 1,000 milligrams. And, uh, boy, I tell you, two nights in a row, I have slept through. I mean, I'm sleeping through for me is four or five hours. And one night was five hours. Last night it was six hours. And that, that's like 10, 12 hours for, for, any, for a normal person. So stuff works. Uh, I don't know. Yet. Wait till I get back from uh, my time off, and I'll tell you whether it continues to work or not. But for a dollar a day, by golly, you know, it, uh, it's really a very important. Shane just alerted me that alcohol and wine breaks up sleep patterns, and I have to agree with him. I, you know, the fact is, I've always tried to do this, uh, never have more than one glass of wine uh, during the trading week, folks, because it takes your brain that much to get rid of the garbage that the wine and the alcohol leave. So uh, drinking that stuff is not good. And the fact that I had uh, some problems with alcoholism in with my with my father and my grandfather but that was back in the days of you know prohibition things were a lot different back in then so anyway that's neither here nor there let's get back on to some of these markets here let's be paying close attention here uh oh we just went up and did we get there yet oh yep got stopped down well it's right at the exact high it looks like we would have been stopped out at the exact high up there at the 72 uh, the high wow jumped all the way up to 76 so that was the exact time uh, for it to turn, but because it's above that 382 by that much, I have to assume that uh, it's probably not working this time. So I hope if you did the one yesterday that made nine grand, that at least you, when you gave the $700 back today, that it didn't sting too much. But I will not be doing any more of those either, folks. I bring them up to kill the time because nobody calls in for questions, and I'm just trying to give you the best information that I can on what's available today. Let me double check here to what's going on with the market because I think that we've got a chance here for this S&P to get down into this area. Hold on, folks. I've got to send this out one second here. And it will be ready to move here. There's the exact time. Well, we're still way above the 382. So that's totally different than yesterday, which is not uh, what we want to see. So just give me one second till I update this. And I'm not putting any orders in. I'm not trading. I don't plan to be trading until right around the 1st of July because uh, we've got something big coming, folks. And I 
you know, I don't get many chances to go to the big dance very often. And this is probably going to be my last chance for something as big as this uh, for quite a few years. So I want to be able to be on top of this. We've had a heck of a run since February, uh, since January 4th into the 20th. And now what we're looking at is to see if this market can hold these levels, i.e. 40, 60 in the S&P. And uh, that's the one that, you know, pay close attention to. The actual Russell has been the strongest uh, through this time, but the one we watch is that S&P. So we want to pay very, very close attention to that because uh, we're coming into this big cycle day here on June 13th, and it, it does mean something, folks. I mean, I know just because it happens. See, the reason why the Venus-Uranus aspect caught my attention back in 1986, and this is what got me to go to Florida to uh, learn with Dr. Miller's when I saw that, that she said, look, look at Venus and Venus takes 255 days to, to go around the year, 365, 255, 365 is 0.618 of the year. If you broke, a, broke those oppositions and conjunctions, zero degrees, 180, 90, 120, they tell you exactly when those dates should happen. Now, they don't hit every time, but when they do hit, folks, and I'm talking about 80% of the time, and that's so with hundreds and hundreds of samples. Uh, that was a thing that would really, uh, really, you know, lit up the, the tote board for me is to, you know, get ready for those because when they happen, you know, they're really, really uh, spectacular. Now, uh, if you have any questions, 877-927-6648. I want to send this chart out here. It's my good friend, Kerry Szymanski. Hold on one second. This is Bitcoin. And I put a couple of quick notations in here. If you notice that dark arrow there where it's point to 382, that's where we were, you know, a couple months ago, folks, when we were up there uh, trading at, uh, I believe it was 48,000 and change, pretty close to that level. And now we're at 30,000. And I think we're heading down to probably get uh, somewhere below 20. Uh, how much below 20? I don't know. But the way they're working with the uh, politicians these days, <clears throat> Hold on. <clears throat> Sorry. The way they're working with the politicians doing, you know, these laws and other things that they have, you know, they're always going to litigate it too much. So we'll see if that's going to, to be the case. And we've got a caller, one of our good people, John from Philly, Soybeans. What's up, my friend? Hello, Larry. Thanks for taking the call. And you, uh, please uh, enjoy yourself on your extremely well-deserved sabbatical, so uh, good for you. Thank you, John. I'm going to. It's going to be fun. I'll be I able to, to do ask my you, Larry, about uh, old crop and new crop soybeans and how you'd handle something, please. Perhaps you could pull up the uh, the weekly soybean charts uh, and uh, the, the uh, most active contract on that weekly chart today is that July contract. The, uh, the soybeans left over from last year's harvest and there's not much of that left on the uh, the shelves, if you will, and <clears throat> so the price is being bid up as uh, inventories, at least for delivery here in July and August, are very low. Uh, and then, of course, we've got the new crop. But um, uh, the new crop, excuse me, the the weekly chart with the July contract, it's just making new highs uh, compared to March. And it is surpassing the highs of last summer, uh, or maybe even it was way back in 2011. I'm not sure. My question is, Larry, as we're making higher highs on this, how do you handle the rally extension? Um, uh, can you share what higher projections you'd be working with? Sure. And the second question, Larry, is on the new crop contract, and that's currently down you know, 15, 60, 15, 60 or 70. In other words, it's at a $2 discount to the spot. Mm -hmm. Do you ever uh, think to yourself, hey, I'd play that new crop contract to catch up to uh, the spot as we're trading here? Or do you look at that contract entirely separately? I look at it entirely separately, John, because it's, you know, it's not even a product yet. It's still growing in the ground. 
So I have to assume that it's still, you know, supposition of where they might be. But you know, if you look at this chart that I posted over the last three months, you can see the three drive to a top pattern, and you can see the one three five pattern down there at around fourteen fifty. So I'm waiting for fourteen fifty or so to see if we get there in November beans. Good man, thank you. Thank you, John. Thanks for calling in, my friend. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Okay, folks, I posted the chart of the natural gas. Uh, you'll notice the 382 we had yesterday after the big break, then we went and made new lows. There was our 382 this morning here at 865. Like I said, it gets above 872, it's wrong. And of course, you see it's already $1,000 above that, already up at the 50% level. The AI did not work, the 382 did not work. And that means you got to remember. It's not about how much money you make. It's how much money you don't lose, folks. So you put your stop in, pay your price, and move on. I didn't do any of the trades yesterday, and I didn't do any of those today either. But this is the type that I would have done that, and I would have lost today, would have won big yesterday, but have lost today. So I would try to eat like an elephant and poop like a bird, and that's what you want to try to do. No, it's the other way around, isn't it? Eat like an elephant. Yeah, whatever it is, I can't remember. <laughs> okay, uh, tomorrow we don't have any guests. I'm trying to get John Person on, but uh, he's traveling right now, so he's always a good one. Adrian Tolgaray will be back with us in July, along with our regular guests. 
And so that's uh, pretty much it. But I'll have some things for you tomorrow. I want to cover some more about the grain markets because uh, – I'll be doing the videos every day, folks, for the 24-7 people, those of you that belong to the newsletter. You're going to get the newsletter every week. You'll get the daily videos that I send out. It takes me about you know, half an hour to do those, which I do just for fun anyway. But I will not be doing any personal live trading during that time, but I will be pointing out trades and just uh, – you know, like had a really nice trade in gold today. It's, you know, made well over $1,500. So those are the kinds that we want to be watching. We really need to pay close attention to these crude oil, heating oil, and gasoline in here, folks. Two reasons. One, we got this big cycle coming in here on the 13th, which will affect everything. And then also we've got these patterns that are telling us, hey, wait a minute. This is not what the news is telling us. The news is saying this stuff is running to the moon, and it's not. We're just right at the 78%. Level. By the way, we're going to have Shane Smolian as our guest tomorrow. He's been one of our st standouts here. So st Shane will be joining us tomorrow because uh, his timing stuff has been impeccable. His automatic trading system is doing great. So we'll have Shane on tomorrow. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless.